hate puppies. It's a good podcast. Not a good start. I feel threatened. I got nothing. That is accurate. <laughs> <laughs> going on everybody welcome to inside the pallet house hope the week has treated you well that may sound weird come friday by the time this comes out because we're recording on a monday another weird yeah. off week for us it is always odd when uh you know you know there's gonna be that much time and especially in this day and age yeah i don't know we could we could be like yeah everything is great and then they're like yeah comet hit missouri yeah we could destroy totally the whole way we could totally miss on something yeah uh, i should have gone with the four horsemen Woo! Missed that one. Because we have everyone here? Yeah. yeah. I got you. I got you. That's right. We do Thanks have Ely in the house. that up because I was not. <laughs> I was not. I was like. I, I was like, did Ric Flair die? Yeah. That's <laughs> what I was saying. I was like, shit. Like, what is going on? I feel like I've matured because I would have before been like, what the fuck does that mean, Stu? <laughs> but I gave it a minute. You know what I mean? I waited. <laughs> you were like, ride. is that because there's all four of us here? And you were like, yeah. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. You. Ely's growing up. I know. Don't do it, Ely. Don't change. Right. Be you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So mature. Dude, give, it, give it time. <laughs> he'll, he'll snap back. I'll be angry back. in no time. That's right. I'm maturing over here. I just entered into a prepubescent stage of my life. Yeah. Yep, I have braces. I have Invisalign in. Ooh, how is that? It's uh, I I have a lisp. Welcome to inside the palace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know it what's is. What's that kid Mort from Family Guy? What's his name? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is. You're him. It is horrible. <laughs> like I was I was playing poker the other night. One guy was like, "You sound a little different." I'm like, "Oh, oh, oh. I yeah. didn't pick like, up like, on it." An hour I've been here. Mm-hmm. Listen into the microphone. <laughs> you know, it'll start to come up. Yeah, sounds a little different <laughs> yeah. through the headphones. Listen into the microphone. Let me know what you yeah. come up with. Yeah, did you, did you hear it? It's like a seashell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, it's, what's it's, the deal with awkward. it? It's just a mouthpiece? Yeah, it's just two. They change the sides every once in a while? Is Six weeks? Every two weeks, I have to two change weeks? change the, the, the trays what out. What company is it? Is it Invisalign? Did Invisalign. Okay. I ter- uh. heard too many horror stories about... Um, it was Smile a bunch Direct, of them, right? yeah. Hmm. Because Smile, Smile Direct is, is basically like set. It, everything has an S in it. <laughs> you don't realize how many S's <laughs> and T's there are in stuff until you start wearing this crap. But uh, I started hearing horror stories about people who would get it, and like it's it's set it and forget it. They literally send you all your trays, oh. and no one ever looks at you, and you just keep putting them in, and then. Doing all sorts of damage you don't even know about. Yeah, you're just pulling things apart and twisting them, and you end <laughs> up at the right place, but that may not mean that your bite is right or your jaw might have moved. <laughs> yeah. like, There's one guy at the factory who's like, oh, week 33, let's go with attitude. No, yeah. yeah. Let's, go, let's do like. Yeah. Hey, let's everything. swap these two and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Does it hurt? Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure. My brother did it, and he said he's been like Advil every time he switches out. Yeah, I haven't done any Advil yet, but yeah, I got them on Friday, and like they put them in, and I was like, huh, "This is it? Like, yeah, that's the whole thing." I was like, "Okay, this is gonna be a cakewalk." And then by like lunchtime, I was like, "Yo, one of my teeth feels like it's got a giant cavity in it. Like it hurts so bad." Oh, uh, and, and you wear it all the time. Yeah, you're allowed to have it out for four hours a day. So it's like I pick an hour, and that's my coffee hour because I don't want to like stain everything yeah. up. Mm. And then outside of that, it's like take them out, eat, put them right back in. Uh, it's. Do y'all uh, or your kids watch Dude Perfect? Oh, yeah. I love uh, Dude yeah. Perfect. Have you seen? I think it's the most recent episode. They do the overtime show, and they have that wheel, wheel unfortunate, where you spin the wheel and you. Oh and yeah. The loser gets some awful prize. Yeah. One dude got get braces. Oh, really? <laughs> it, was, it was Garrett. Oh, he got of course get it was. Braces. <laughs> They I think like, Dude Perfect there. is one of the best. Dude, like, of all the so nonsense good. on YouTube, yeah. Yeah, like, it's not bad. They're awesome. Yeah. yeah. Even my girls like Dude Perfect. Like yeah. you think it's like a it's a boy thing. My girls are like, oh, Dude Perfect. They think it's the greatest. Yeah. There's a cool um like documentary type of thing yes. on them out there that's yeah, really I awesome. Yeah, saw that. Yeah. It's an hour and a half like full length feature documentary about like how they came up and everything. I do want to talk about the screaming though, because that has to be done. On re- uh, like someone told them that they need to do that. Yeah, oh, you need they, more energy. Uh, more energy. Yeah, that, what is that yeah. all about? 
I just think that's because kids react to that stuff. I guess it must you know? be, but it's so over the top that when it you're is. an adult, you're like, Jesus, we get it. You're excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but like, the kid doesn't notice it. Yeah. And but all like, the other videos they watch are the same thing. They're like super loud, super in your face. And I'm looking at the kids. I'm like, that really works for you? Yeah. For real? That is weird. Yeah. Don't but, you think we do that on some level, though, just doing the podcast? Like try to no. be a little more you don't think we laugh like that <laughs> I laugh. Don't. that laugh right there like was i'm that, laughing at the fact that was was that in my head but <laughs> the idea of fake doing something for these people that are listening has never entered my mind not either i don't think it's a fake i just think that we get more animated no they're fake is what i'm saying yes but i think that was born of you got to be more animated you got to let people know you're excited and then i think over time they've just it now, added a whole yeah. fake thing because it started working. No, I, yeah, but I think every episode they have to consciously try to do that because of how much how difficult and not normal it is to do that. The worst example is Family yeah. Feud when it they de- win at the end and they make all everybody like jump up and down and scream and holler. It definitely, it like, definitely seems not a thing. and do perfect. Like, I mean, they've been doing it for ten, twelve years now, making trick shots and like their reactions are seem back then because I mean I've watched all of them yeah they did seem real now it's just like okay yeah we did another trick shot like, but don't you think yeah. if it took you eight hours to hit a shot you would be pretty pumped when yeah it but I wouldn't happened. scream I'd be like fuck yes. <laughs> I wouldn't be <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean I wouldn't go over the top as they are I think they're, so they're yeah. trying to do that I think to Troy's point though it's been how many years and they got to come up with something new yeah. all the time and now it's a job it's not like hey let's just record ourselves having fun trying these trick shots well, yeah, think about the fact that they out. tour. Like, they go on yeah. tour, and it's like, what would think about what would they do? Are you serious? Like, yeah. they oh, sell yeah. an arena gig? Absolutely. And like, yeah. Fill yeah. up with yeah. That's, yeah. that's what the documentary is. It follows them on tour. Yeah. Silly I did not shit, know shooting that. Nerf guns and stuff. And yeah. They do playing. battles and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Great life. Do Wheel Unfortunate, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. I can't argue with that life. Ty is talented as fuck. He wins, like, everything. Dude. It's crazy. In sports. Yeah. In broadcasting. Yep. In everything that they do, yeah. he's talented as yep. shit. Yeah. And they all know it. Oh, absolutely. They just, like, defer to him. Right. Let's just let him go. Yeah. He's the main. He's the dude. He's just, the main Although, dude. I'm pretty sure that when he does his things with, like, best candy and best movies, he's doing it fucked up on purpose. He is. And that, because he, and cause Jacob and I watch it, like, what's he going to pick? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, dude, that's not real. No one would pick that shit. He's doing it to piss everybody off. Yeah, he'll be, like, ranking candies, and he'll be like, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, get them out of yeah, here. He's like, and all four <laughs> yeah. dudes are like, are you insane yeah. right now? You <laughs> haven't lived until you've had a reason. It's the best <laughs> one ever. Try it. He's Trust like, me. NECA wafers, number one. Yeah. Yeah. Number one. Right. <laughs> he did cereal like that. Like He, was he just did, yeah. Trash cereal. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and it works. I mean, it's it great. Yeah. It's great fodder for the for the vi- for the video, you know, on YouTube with the kids, it's nice to know it's good, clean fun. Which exactly. Is so there's, yeah. I mean, what percentage is good, clean fun on YouTube? Right. I'm blown away at some of the crap my kids watch, and maybe for I've sure. just got like a skewed view. But they'll have like fake Disney princesses, and like I'll see it, and I'm like, is this going to turn into a porn? Yeah. Because in my that's like <laughs> yeah. my my horrible mind. I'm like, uh oh, this is a porn, and then it doesn't, and I'm like, oh thank God. But like I see these, I saw my girls watching this thing. Just the other day, and it was like little animation thing. Didn't look too crazy. Pretty just low rent animation. And then I saw the title of it, and it was like my baby's daddy, such and such. I'm like, so I'm gonna get him back. And I'm like, what are you watching? Turn it off. I was like, yeah. you can't, you can't watch this crap. Yeah. Like, we're celebrating having a baby daddy, and yeah. like, like getting him back for going out on the town with her best friend. I'm like. Yeah. This is not appropriate. How did this rabbit hole end up here? We've talked about this, and I just heard Tristan Harris talk about this. Um, but the what's next or the autoplay with oh, YouTube's yeah. algorithm is like the worst fucking thing. It's, de- it's the devil. Uh, yeah. The devil. Yeah. yeah. Legitimately. Um, they said something like the YouTube's algorithm uh, suggested Alex Jones videos like five billion times or something like that. What? Which shows you. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Wow. Yeah. And it's you insane. could have just been watching a weather report. Right. And all of a sudden they're like, did you know? Exactly. Sandy Hook was fake. Like, right. What? Yeah. Like, so and it's molding the minds of the children. Yeah. It's That's crazy amazing. what it's doing. Yeah. It, it it does freak me out seeing some of the yeah. things that they stumble upon. And I'm like, I don't know how. But we, we still let them watch. We do. <laughs> we do because we're crazy. We just think, oh, this time will be different. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> it's not different. No. It's the same problem. Yeah. 
part of my problem is I I like want them to w- be good on their own. On their own, yeah. Without yeah, I expect them to have things that they know is wrong that I realistically I shouldn't expect them to because they yeah. don't know anything without being told. But I could see myself getting upset at things when I'm like, you don't fucking know that? Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that's and harder and harder these days because they're just desensitized so quickly. Yeah, but I'm saying this is an issue with me. Whereas I, you know, I'm, um, I expect that they know things that they don't, there's no way for them to know. Yeah, and that's not fair. I mean, they're not. No, it's they, not they, at all. They couldn't possibly know those no, things yeah. without, without learning them. Yeah. The good news is they're sponges. I mean, you really can teach them what you want to teach them. The bad thing is you have to make the effort. Yeah. And always They're also be there. sponges made of plastic and nothing sinks in. <laughs> it depends on the topic. Yeah. yeah. Depends on the topic. Well, I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound cool. How many times have I told you that? Right. Yeah, my girls can't seem to figure out how to lock the door. Really? It's like, oh, I can't do it. Yeah, that, like, that drives uh, me crazy. We've, we've covered this, and we can do it. And it's like I keep – but then other things they learn once. Yeah. They see it once and know it forever. Exactly. Mm. They, they'd learn if there was some detrimental punishment. Yeah, there is. Well, I've put down three dogs. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of, no. <laughs> the other thing that's weird, too, is like with video games like Xbox, like they can't play together on one Xbox like we used to be able to, where you would play, have multiple controllers, yeah. and you would just play together. They don't do that. So if they have the birthday party or something, the oh, kids have horrible. to bring over their own Xboxes. What? And it's so bad that like my kids sometimes would rather – not sleep over at his friend's house. So they can play. So he can come home and play on his yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's crazy. It's insane. I'm like, you don't want to spend the night with your friend? <laughs> yeah. like, that's because they, they play yeah, one awesome the, shit. That was the coolest thing ever. Ever. When you were a Definitely. kid. Definitely. Yeah. When, we, when we were kids. Speaking of that, my nine-year-old slept over at a friend's house this past Friday, and I go pick him up at 10 in the morning, and the mom was like, oh, just a heads up, they're, he's running on about an hour of sleep. Yeah. I go, what? Now, her kid stayed at my house three, four times. This is the first time he's ever been over there. I was like, w- wait, what? Thanks for sending that back. Uh-oh. She goes, hey, he's been on math. She was like, well, when my husband came to bed, too. They were still up. He's got a TV in his room, and they were still up. And I said, I turned to my son. I said, when did you go to bed? He's like, five o'clock. <laughs> Ouch. And he he's not he's not exaggerating. Like, Oh, yeah, no. He. He's one of those kids, like, if there's a TV, he's staying up. Yeah. He's not going to fall asleep at watching TV. Like, he's he's up. Yeah. Yeah, I always have to go Dude, up he was asleep go. five minutes after he got in the car. Oh, yeah. And we had a full day of shit to do. Yeah. And I'm like, are you Dad. kidding me, woman? Like, you really just let my kid sleep one hour last night and send his ass home with me. Like, yeah. I don't That's... know if I'll ever let him go back over there again. Don't right. worry. I gave him an espresso. Exactly. Yeah. He should be fine. Yeah, Jacob had he friends He was wrecked over, all weekend. And Jacob had friends over for his birthday, and they tried to pull an all-nighter. Like, that was what – they were, like, thought it was the coolest thing ever to try to do that. Yeah. yeah. I don't blame them. That is cool. Yeah. I, I mean, I remember – And then the next day, you're like, well, this is the stupidest thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I remember doing that as a kid, too. This kid's nine. Like, yeah. he – Yeah, that's ridiculous. He's 12, 14. You know, he's not – like, he needs to be told to go to sleep. Right. Like, but it's you know, ridiculous. there's that there is that point when you're at a sleepover, you're that age where it's like it's getting late, and then everything starts to get funny, and that's when everything kind of you know you're getting a little punchy. That's when the fun really starts it to is. happen. Yeah. Everyone's losing yeah. it and laughing. It's like, yeah, but it, I get it. Sounds like, like they just sat up watching TV all night, like they weren't doing anything. Like I remember when we would do sleepovers, we'd like sneak back downstairs to get. The leftover pizza, or like there was always like yeah, there's something a, you were a doing. Mission. Yeah, it was yeah. like right. an activity because we didn't. I mean, we had we might have had Nintendo at the time. Like there wasn't all these gaming systems and Chromebooks and YouTube and all that stuff. And it's just like, dude, you literally just sat up for freaking like eight hours watching TV, yeah. just yeah. rotting in your brain, dude. Yeah. So, Ely, you you had mentioned Troy. You were just talking about the games all night. You know, the reason they do that where they don't let them play on the single screen is because they want you to subscribe to the online stuff. So they make it so you can't have your buddy just come over and play. You have to have the online subscription to then play. Like even. Yeah, but they could easily. if they. It's about buying the unit, I guess. But it's all, well, it's about buying the monthly. Yeah, but you could convince conceive of a world where you go to your friend's house and you both log into your shit. 
on his device. Yeah, the only one that seems to allow you to do it is Fortnite, where they'll let two on a screen with with like the Xbox. Yeah, but you still have to have. So there's the no gaming. Component. There's no gaming system yeah, yeah. right now that you can buy where there's two controllers. No, you can have two controllers, and you could still play like Madden against each other, but like. The other games. The interactives. Yeah. Even but nobody's doing that because everybody wants to play Madden online against other people. <clears throat> and you don't even get the games like Super Mario where you're just, it's a kind of a quick game where it's yeah. like one player, then Passing the other player, one board. player, yeah. another player. No. Like they just don't do that. It's like either get online, play with your buddy, or go screw. Yeah. It's really what they're trying to do. Even yeah. Halo, which was always about that kind of being able to play against each other. Even they've gone to a model where. It's you can't do that anymore unless you're online. Yeah, I mean I've had birthday parties where I had to set up three TVs and one brings an extra Xbox, one That's brings a crazy. PlayStation. Yeah, Not which even is in the awesome. Same room. Oh, they're in the same room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a whole new level. Yeah, it is. It is cool. Well, I wouldn't dare be helping your social skills. I'd get on there. They think I was a kid. Like my, my stupid lisp. Yes, yeah, it would. <laughs> it's heartbreaking, man. Listen to Metal Mouth. <laughs> yeah. 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 What grade are you in? Uh huh. I keep hoping it's going to get better, but I it will. I, I I I hope it does. But it really did hurt, Ely. To your question, like it it really hurt all weekend. I was like, yeah. this sucks. Does it still hurt? It's just now it's numb, and I'm kind of because it's been since Friday. Now we're on Monday. We're talking about your teeth still? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just it's just gone numb now. So it's like, I think I'm I'm better. But like now when I take them out, then that hurts. Oh so it's yeah. It's like you yeah. want to put them back in or chewing food. Oh my gosh, that kills! Yeah, just biting down onto something, you're like, "Ow!" And they got to figure it out just just right when you start to get comfortable is when they send you the next set. Yeah, yeah, because it starts <laughs> to set back in there. And how it's long like, is break it? Break that every two weeks for how long? Uh, I have 17 trays, so 34 weeks. Not quite a year. <laughs> it's a long time. No, Which still I, better than braces. I don't think it was that. It's not that long. Yeah, that's, that's not that long. I was kind of hoping for like May. <laughs> you know yeah i gotta just knock me out and yeah. just get up some pliers and move these bastards yeah. Yeah. like what if i just told him i'm gonna change trays every four days this is gonna be painful but we're gonna sprint yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna going get this for, done right. mm. i think that would be pretty sweet yeah but i have seen a lot of people coming into the dentist's office and they're like oh yeah that person in there like they're getting invisalign to repair the smile direct club screw up oh wow so like i have to go in every month and see the orthodontist, and he like looks and goes, "Okay, you're good to go to the next trays." Or, "Nah, we're gonna have to like shave a tooth or something today uh, so that these move right because if we don't, yeah, it's gonna cause problems." So, it's a lot more in depth, and by in depth, I mean expensive. Well, it's the whole you get what you pay for, I guess, right? Kind of, yeah. I mean, I don't know what Smile costs so compared. I know Invisalign's not cheap, but and Invisalign costs twice as much as Smile Direct Club. Wow. Is how that but you don't want to go half ass on getting your teeth right. No, I just wish I'd done this a long time ago before I ground down all my teeth and kept chipping them. Yeah, <laughs> you know, had had my bite been right from the beginning, I wouldn't I wouldn't wake up with a chipped tooth. You know, I feel so like often. every kid now gets braces at some point. When like when I was a kid, it was like a rarity if you got braces. I remember mm. my dentist when I was a kid was like, "You don't need braces unless it's strictly for like, you know, vanity." And yeah. I was like, "Ha ha, no braces for me." Yeah. And now a combination of chipping my front tooth like five or and six vanity. times, and then having <laughs> yeah. you know, and yeah. then seeing myself on Zoom calls, I've never had to look at myself. Yeah. I've never uh, had to for that much. I've time. never had to like see myself smile. Like I always get pictures and go, "Ew, I smile horribly," and then I move on. Now it's like I spend six hours of my eight-hour day staring at my damn face, and I'm like, "Bro, your smile sucks." Like both angels were like. You look like shit. Yeah. You know? There was no happy angel. Yeah, anymore. the good angel's like, I got nothing for you. Dude. Yeah, the good <laughs> angel. He's right. For like two months, the good yeah. angel put up a good fight and was like, bro, <laughs> yeah. your, your teeth are janky. I've been bullshitting. He's right this whole <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> Go get that shit. Yep. Your teeth are going to be perfect, and then there's going to be no more Zoom meetings. You're going back in person. It's all going to be for naught. I'm, yeah. I'll chip another <laughs> tooth. It'll be all good. You won't be looking at yourself anymore. This has been a long process, though. I started this in October. And like, you're just now getting it. Because I my insurance the molds was like and all that. well my insurance was like we're not going to cover that so I was like stop the train, then January came and I was like all right well, you guys already did my molds, they were like yeah we can't use those we need to do like a laser thing now it's yeah like, oh, okay, so went in got that and then my damn orthodontist does not pick up the phone you can't call them 
You call and then it says text us. So I I would text him for weeks like, are they in yet? Do no you response. buy drugs from him too? By it. <laughs> 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 New phone, who this? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Finally, I realized yeah. if you hit them up at the end of the day, those people are more responsive. The beginning of the day crew is a mess. End of day. And then they were like, oh, yeah, those are at your dentist office. We don't even have them. I was like, I've been waiting two months for someone just to say that. We have a buddy them. in the dental industry who said, if you have a kid, drive them into orthodontia. It's a gold mine. Yeah. Super Absolutely. simple. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I know... My oldest sons had had braces at seven and eight years old, and we would go for checkups. And like, the the orthodontist would like breeze in, the the like assistants did all the work. And yep, the yep, orthodontist yeah. would breeze in, and be like, "That's cool, see ya." Great Move job, on. Sharon. Wait, have you ever known, <laughs> yeah, known? He would talk like for fifteen minutes baseball to my kid. Yeah, and wouldn't even mention his teeth. Right. And then at the end, be like, "Yeah, you're looking good. See you next time." Exactly. Have you ever like partied with a dentist or an orthodontist? Like in real life? No. IRL? Mm. No. Every single dentist or orthodontist I've ever known, they're a nut. Like after hours on their own time? <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Really? Every single one of them. Like, yeah. Want a little nitrous? No, I'm good. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, Can't you get in trouble for that? Nope. I'm a dentist. Like, <laughs> is that is why <laughs> Dr. Faggot from The Hangover was that way? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably a little. Well, he was a little. He was a wuss, right? Wasn't he? Or no, no, well, he, he was, was wide open too. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I think that's based on some fact. And it, I've noticed. Say you go to like Bonnaroo or Firefly or any of these like big festivals. If you go into the RV area, toodaloo, you, motherfucker. You, <laughs> you are guaranteed to run into a handful of dentists and orthodontists in there, as they party hard they're really? paid and they party yeah got a, a disposable income to go to these yeah, things but yeah. they don't want to be full-blown doctors which they are but they're not they don't want to go that route because yeah. there's a lot less insurance and like things to deal with and this side of the fence so they just go over here they'll all work all, all the over, hours too yeah. it's like yeah we don't do fridays oh, yeah. fridays yeah. don't happen yeah all up in your shit if you're eating a jolly rancher <laughs> yeah. like, come on man yeah because you call it like we gotta get an appointment between eight and eleven and two and five we don't do anything yeah. in the middle of the day. There's always three-hour <laughs> lunches <laughs> or something. Yeah, those dudes party. Well, I know I'm paying just shy of $400 a month for the next two years for both of my girls' braces. But I do have to say in seven months' time frame, they made you know their grills just amazing because they were all jacked up. But they're, it's, wow. I mean, orthodontist is, to Ely's point, is managing. They're not really doing the work. No, yeah. none of them do. Those, those poor assistants do everything. Yeah. Like how much you to your point. You don't spend any time yeah. with the big dog. No. Nah. That person comes in and looks at the thing that the the yeah. hygienist yeah. did and goes, "Looks good. Yeah, you did good work." My well, dentist, it's, it's <laughs> see ya. My dentist every time, every time says the same damn thing to me. He goes, "Oh yeah. You always look good. You've got a good mouth." And he leaves. Nice. Yeah. And he yeah. says yeah, the he's same. The pros of whipping them gloves off, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's the same damn that, thing. That, Let's take a look. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the truth. Because the orthodontist that my girls see, they were everything. He was referred because everybody was like, he's a great orthodontist. Great personality. Great, you know, bedside manner, the whole nine yards. And I go in there and I'm with the girls and he's a super fantastic guy. He's got something great to say. He's got great stories. Makes the girls laugh, do all this other stuff. He doesn't do a lick of work. He's a salesman that knows <laughs> yeah. teeth. Yeah. yeah. I can't tell if my dentist is a drug addict or not. Like, I'm. this has been a, a running. Based on your own description a few minutes ago, it sounds like they may be. Yeah. He's, well, and this one in particular, there's days where he's he's always smiley. <laughs> yeah. But there's days where his energy level is, like, very low. Yeah. Like, Oh, hey. Sounds like Brendan's Bro. dentist. Brendan's dentist, you may not wake up in the same chair. How are the chompers? <laughs> oh, you always have a good mouth. You look fine. Yeah. And then some days, oh, he always has a good mouth. He looks fine. It's like very different. Same de- same thing. Right. Different delivery. Yeah, yeah. It's called cocaine. All the time. <laughs> it's it's cocaine <laughs> or You should look for the correlation something. between after lunch appointments and, yeah. p- and morning appointments. Oh, I should start charting this. You should. Excel That's spreadsheet fun in your future. a little experiment for me. 20 bucks he's getting grilled at lunchtime. <laughs> That I'll, could be. I I'm to gonna the, do that. I'm gonna start charting yeah. his his attitude and when he's up and when he's down, day of the week and time. Yeah. I went to the same dentist for 20 years down at MCV at the faculty practice. Guy, my dentist was an awesome dude, knew his shit backwards and forwards, 
uh, was in the Navy, was a dentist in the Navy, then went and was the dentist during the Bill Clinton years, then moved back to Richmond and started teaching at uh, MCB. Never, never had any issues. I go to my wife's dentist um, when he retired, and they're like, you, you grind your teeth, don't you? And I was like, no. They're like, you wake up every morning with teeth pain because you grind your teeth. And I'm like, no, never once. Oh, I can tell. We could tell you grind your teeth. We're gonna. We're, you need to wear a mouth guard at night. They're like, don't worry, your insurance covers it. The five hundred dollar mouth yeah. guard. They were like, yeah. don't yeah. worry, your insurance covers it. If give me the mouth guard, scam me. My, they'd already done it to my wife, who's on my insurance. Yeah, she never complains of it. I'm like, you guys are running a mouth guard racket here. Yeah, like, yeah. they absolutely are. Yeah, yeah. Because they, I was like, oh well, I'll just go to CBS and get one. They were like, no, you don't no, want no, that. You can't do that. But what is Sold it about their five hundred dollar mouth guard? What is it about a dentist job that they they have the highest suicide rate? Period. Drugs. Uh, the, the, that the national makes sense. I was just the national average is point five percent of the male population, and they're eight percent of the male population that commit suicide. That so is like, weird. Eight percent of dentists commit suicide. That's yeah. Again, the national average is half a percent for men. That is a horrible yeah ratio. I mean, that can't really eight percent. Yeah, it's. Drugs would make sense, though, right? Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. So you're telling me if Eight. half of percent is males, that means 99.05 no, no, is no, no, no. So the entire, <laughs> yeah, the entire male population. One out of every 200 guys commit suicide. 0.5 is percent. Is what you're saying. 0.5 percent of the male population in yeah, general. Okay, well, you run your numbers out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and 8 percent of if you have all the dentists. 8 percent of male dentists. Right. Commit suicide. That's interesting, but... Drugs could cause a lot of that. Yeah, if you're partying all the time, yeah. burn it on both ends. Well, I mean, think about it. Like if you're doing, if you're on something, and next thing you know, you're partying. Next thing you know, you're stepping out on your wife. Things are getting crazy at work. You're running on both ends. You maybe lose a wife, got to pay her a ton of money. Maybe a business goes under. You got to start back over. That doesn't make sense. That math doesn't add up for me because that's the same with other. Doctors like says medical, medical doctors and dentists are one and two police officers, then veterinarians, uh, okay. then financial services, real estate agents, electricians, lawyers, farmers, pharmacists, and chemists. Everybody, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody. Are you in the workforce? Congratulations! <laughs> yeah. Don't get yeah. a job. Yeah. Right. The likelihood yeah. of you <laughs> unemployed on there? Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Those guys are chill. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just kicking it. <laughs> Homeless guys always die of yep. natural causes. Yeah. Always. It's a fact. Yeah, it says male dentists hold the highest suicide rate at 8%. Female dentists hold the fourth highest I thought at police 5%. Were for, police aren't number one. They They're carry number, a gun all the time. Number three. You dentists think, have drills. Well, you think if you have access to a way to kill yourself on your hip all day long, it'd be, and I mean, they have a stressful job, you know? Yeah. I would have thought, yeah, police, ex-military. Yeah. I mean, there's anything where you can get more PTSD. Yeah. I do feel like police, though, would be like, man, I'm doing great compared to these shitheads I'm running in, That's true, yeah. running in touch with all the time. Yeah, but then you also start to see society as pretty bad. <laughs> yes, that's true. But that's that shouldn't kinda... reflect on you, though, I wouldn't think. I think looking in mouths is gross. Yeah, I yeah. couldn't. Like I'd, I'd, I'd almost rather be a butthole doctor than a dentist. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure if I looking stand in by mouth that is statement. Gro- I mean, but it's a... You could argue either way, for sure. You're like, in the mouth all day. And well, during a pandemic. Always, always, I think we talked about that before. How do you fall into that? The butthole doctor or the mouth doctor? No, the <laughs> butthole doctor. The doctor the, just the doctor in general that does the shit that nobody wants to do. Yeah. How do you fall into that? Because they say you go there and you just follow a path that you enjoy. So I find it hard to believe. So no gynecologists like doing that? They're all just some do. Yeah. So I'm saying some of them chose it because they like poon, or is that crazy to think about? Or you choose the profession? No, I think most of them choose it because they like they like babies and. Birth. I think that's what more gynecologists do. I, I would do podiatrists like feet. You think that's like that's what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so if the answer is no, then how do they? They but just it, then you drew it out it. of a hat well, one day. Well, no. well, if you like feet. We're talking and about you're a foot doctor. You're going to see some more gross yeah. feet than you are the feet you might want to see. But just like to your point, you said if you've got kids, tell them to become an orthodontist because it's easy money. But at the same time, if you're choosing a profession medically. Maybe you're like, what's the path of least resistance for me to be a quote unquote doctor? Yeah, you think that's it? You get an A on a test around feet and go, 
That's the yeah. only one that I aced. I Everything else I got C's on. Yeah. I guess. I just doesn't I don't I can't draw that line. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't know if I'd want to be a cardiologist versus it might be easier for me to work on, you know, be a right handed thumb surgeon. I could see cardiologists because <laughs> yeah. you're saving people. I could see yeah. being driven to that. Yeah. But like the dude that's and maybe part of it too is because it's not like we're saying it. Like the butthole doctor's not just <laughs> staring at buttholes. He's curing colon cancers. Yeah. He's, but that's yeah. the thing. There's so you know much I mean? more, There's more to it. more to it, right. Yeah, you're just looking exactly. at the entry point. Yeah. There's a lot but behind it. Like that deliver? Seinfeld? <laughs> right. Right. Where he Ass like, man? No, yeah. he's no, he's dating the, doc, the, uh, the dermatologist, and she's like talking about saving lives all the time. He's like, what are you talking about, pimple pocket? She's like. <laughs> You ever heard of cancer? He's like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good call. Yeah. yeah. The foot doctor's one is weird, though, because it's yeah. like you just grinding off corns and shit. Yeah, feet are gross. Yeah. I mean, you got to think, though, that there could have been something in their past. What percentage of podiatrists did it because they like feet? Probably because their dad or mom did it. It's probably got to be a percentage, thing. right? Yeah. Oh, there's Over always, 20? There's always going to be creeps in there. Not necessarily, yeah, but so you can like have a thing for feet, but not be like, I want to drool on them while they're sleeping. Like, yeah, you, they, know you the, could yeah. be not over the top. The with fastest it. way to cure a foot fetish w- become a podiatrist, right? Right, <laughs> <laughs> it's, <Yeah>. it's over. <laughs> like, I, I would imagine it. a podiatrist is going to be the same thing as like an orthodontist. He scans your feet, takes a look at it, tells him what's wrong, and then his assistant comes in and grinds your bunions down, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, know? that is probably a good one. Podiatrist. Next, yes, I mean no. Yeah, unless you're not. doing no, you're doing surgeries and stuff. Yeah, cutting out hangnails. Yeah, dude, bro, oh. back up. <laughs> I guess I wasn't. I was just. I was following Stu. I shouldn't have followed Stu down the yeah, rabbit hole. Yeah. Never. I was like, yeah, it's all corns and bunions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A hand doctor could be cool because it's like interesting. And Is like, there you, a hand doctors? Seeing, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Really? Sure. Very. It's a very specific specialty. Like, Little bones. It's it's a oh, tough one. No, but I was joking about it. But they do have the guys specialize in left hand. And right hand, like they'll have doctors that don't do both. That's you gotta, just gotta, I don't know about that. I just know on the other side of the I don't table. Know if there's, <laughs> I just get so confused when the phone's over there. Can I can't figure right? it out. Yeah. What's yeah. this? I've never seen this before. Yeah. It's yeah. a left hand. How did you get your thumb on the other side? <laughs> His thumb is so skinny. Stu's the same guy. That thinks there is a left twix and a right twix. Right, oh. exactly. They label them. <laughs> One tastes different. Yeah. It says it right here totally on the Totally different factories. We <laughs> yeah. can't make them in the same exactly. factory. Yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> they come Science. together on a conveyor uh, belt. <laughs> yeah. But they don't touch because they don't they, like each other. Of course not. No. Oh yeah. My I mean, we're obviously, we're not doctors. So. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? Yeah. Uh, what I, the thing I, that you really touched on that I get is, like, if you want to do, like, cardiac or, you know, be a neurologist, you're like, Okay, you're saving lives, but like I can't imagine like whatever they make, it's not enough. Like you oh. were I mean, you were straight doing God shit. Like it's crazy. I just had a Zoom meeting with the dude who <laughs> helped Atlas when he was born. Oh. And every time I talk to that guy, I'm like He's the you're best. You're basically an angel. Yeah. Like, and I'm in awe of the knowledge that you have. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like dude, yeah. there's like, nothing you can do or say to like Show your gratitude, no, <laughs> like appreciation. Nothing, yeah, at all. So I just looked at it. Podiatrist is four years of schooling, period. And if you want to be a cardiologist, it's four years of school. Any school? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Four years. I'm doing it. <laughs> so it's four years of extra school after college. I feel like I qualify. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. if you want to be a cardiologist, it's four years after college, then three years residency, then another three to four years in fellowship. So you're talking an oh, yeah. eight year investment. Yeah. And oh. you really gotta like that job, whereas I can just like to take care There's of There's a big part of it. <laughs> I bet you that's a lot to do with it. It's just like well and school's not cheap. I'm not enjoying this. I'm getting in debt. I'm just gonna do podiatry. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Granny's bunions. <laughs> <laughs> we figured it out. In the well, in Stu's are, world, there's a left foot guy and a right foot guy. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> and the people coming to your practice do not have the amazing feet. No. You're getting the worst yeah, shit you're ever. you're getting uh, yeah. th- not some model coming in here going, look at this right. amazing foot. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, that thing got blowed up or yeah. half torn off or I couldn't you weigh 500 a, pounds. I couldn't <laughs> That's my third a, set of hammer toes club. today. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't find a model foot if you told nah. me to choose it out of a lineup. Yeah, I've yeah. never saw one foot and been like, that's a good-looking foot right there. Yeah. Like, I will never. Yeah, it's just <laughs> that's something that doesn't – it's never come across my radar. Weird. 
Have you ever feet. gone out with anybody who was a into feet? Not that I'm aware not of. Not that yeah, they told not, me. Yeah. Not that they told me. I'm just curious. Not, dude, I yeah. cut my toenails with a knife, and I'm not kidding. That is how I trim my toenails. I Why? sit there and just, because I just carve them. I don't know. Always, I'm just weird like that. Always yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, you are. That is Always weird. have a That's knife on weird. me. If only they had Fucking a tool Finn for over it. Here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, so I'm saying like, if any, if any girl was in defeat, I was one flip-flop date away from that relationship <laughs> ending and me not knowing <laughs> yeah. why. Yeah. I am, I am slightly you on jealous. Your feet shit. I am slightly jealous of the dudes that are in the feet because it's like summertime, spring, summer comes around. It's like, oh, it's game on for you, dude. Right. Like you're just walking down the street seeing. Nah, you're a creep. I, you wouldn't know it though. You wouldn't know it. Yeah. Yeah, I'd figure it out. That dude's a creep. <laughs> Why does he keep running into poles? <laughs> he's yeah. looking down yeah. his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Still with a joke. All right. <laughs> His camera's always clicking, but it's pointing down. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, what are you taking a picture of, dude? <laughs> so, Ely, I'm, I'm nervous to go to this. You just said you said two words. Yeah, so Ooh. question for you. Okay. Um, What were the two words I told you? You literally, you said, I said, does anyone have any topics? And Ely goes, uh, slobber knocker. And does I anyone go, know what that word means? If I was to tell you that Brendan and Troy – are going to get into a mud wrestling match, and it's going to be a slobber knocker. I know it's I've a wrestling used... term. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Did you know that? No, I assumed it was a euphemism for a BJ or something. Yeah. Uh, I always used it when it came to like, fighting. That's you why did I always... use it. You've yeah. used it? Slobber knocker? I didn't know where it came from, but I've heard the word before. Uh, but you said you used it. Uh, I'm trying to think. The last time I used it, it's been, I mean, slob... I, only, I know the word. I, I can just... hear it in my headphones being spoken by the... Dude with a stroke yelling at <laughs> Yeah. It's right, a so, real slobber knocker. So someone says a real slobber knocker. So is that like if you punch someone hard, the I don't spit, know what it, the but spit flies I've out been on told the it was from wrestling. So we were talking about, long story short, we were talking about doing a jello wrestling thing at Beth Page. Hell Somebody yeah. commented and was like, so-and-so should wrestle so-and-so. It'll be a serious slobber knocker. <laughs> I'm like... I've never heard that word, but I'm starting to second guess your intentions here. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, it's I, an old wrestling word. And I was like, didn't know that. So it's funny that you. So you knew it was a fighting term, yeah. a wrestling term. Uh, Stu, have you pulled up an actual definition of a slobber knocker? It's, so it's a, not a compound word like it's slobber a, and knocker. Oh, it's one word. No, it's, it's, no it's, the noun is two words, slobber knocker, plural slobber knocker. Violent collision <laughs> experienced by one person, a violent physical confrontation. There was a so real a, slobber knocker of a football game. And then, so this was, by the way, brought up by listener Nick, who you guys talked about last week. He brought this up. Yes. And Nick, we got one for you, buddy. Yeah. We'll cash that check if Ely's here next week. Right. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cash his Ely's money. He's on a straight every other week from right. here on right. out. Just so we never get to cash. He'll, he'll walk up in here for a second week and we'll hit him. He'll just turn around and walk out. He'll be like, wait, wait, wait. Was I here last? Oh, guys. Um, Damn it. I got I'm a up. thing. Yeah. But, dude, Google oh. Talk to Text nailed it three times in a row. Wow. So it's a real word. Legit word. Like, that fucking Google doesn't even understand half of the shit I say, but it yeah. had slobber knocker down. No problem. None. Now, now I know why I recognize the word, because it said it was most famously used by Jim Ross in WWE that's what for that's wrestling. There it that's what is. I was saying. That's the that's guy what, that had the like, stroke. Yeah. What um, talks like this, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talks yeah. out of the side of his mouth. Yeah. Which is a whole nother or thing. Cowboy yeah. hat. <laughs> right. What uh let's get back to the jello wrestling thing. When's that going down? I don't know. How it's do I get to be invited? this weekend? I'll Whoa. let you know. No, I don't know when it's That'd happening. That'd be awesome. Or if it's happening. I bet they, I bet a few drinks were uh, consumed before that idea. <laughs> yeah, you know, for got sure. Floated. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely didn't sound PG when I heard it. No. I was like, slobber and knockers. No, I was yeah. actually nervous to bring it up. I yeah. was like, all right, I'll, I'll bring it up close to the deli. If this gets off track, I could just... Especially <laughs> if you're talking about that. a couple females going after it. Yeah. It does kind of yeah. sound mm-hmm. a little... That'd be cool. Suspect. For sure. A little slobbers, a couple knockers. You get schnockered. Like a, when you're getting drunk. Yes, yeah, so that guy got schnockered. Yeah, I've heard that. Drunk. I thought it was I just, I guess I n- never... That means um, you tricked. Never What's watched weird a lot of wrestling? I did watch, not a lot. I watched it. Like, I knew, you know, Ultimate Warrior and all them, and Ric Flair, obviously, was my man. But I never, like, oh, my God, it's on. I got to get downstairs. Yeah. I was uh, never on that level. Uh, there was, was about like, a three-year period in my life. Really? When, when Macho Man was really big, it was like, I, I just When I was a kid, it was big, enough. and then we got into it. Me and some buddies got back into it in college in the really? late 90s. Uh, We'd, yeah. like, 
get mm. together and get the pay per views and yeah, back, that was back when like The Rock was coming up and yes, yeah, never know, Stone Cold see, Steve Austin was huge. This was faded out by late nineties. Yeah, I was SummerSlam back when like Hulk was the, in it. Mr. T showed up for a little. When bit. was the that NWO was later, the Wolf Pack? When were that they? was about the, that was about that time. Really? Yeah, yeah, okay. mid to late nineties. See, I was watching it right after like it would come on live after the cartoons would go off on Saturday mornings, and it was like you know George the Animal Steel and. Jimmy Snook Superfly. See, I hate. George it was remember the Bushwhackers. They were yeah. awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And Lex Luger. He was. Yeah. You know, he was swole. And, uh, Scott Steiner. Yeah. yeah. Big Papa Pump. Yeah. Four Horsemen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Didn't that how you started the episode? Yeah. It all comes back. He was. He was already on the slobber knocker train. Uh, Stu's always on the slobber knocker. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> slobber knockers. He's the yeah. conductor. You're talking Raw. about Stu? I, I like me some knockers. I'm not going to lie. The old slobber knocker? Yeah, yeah, Stu, yeah. Stu's on. Not sloppy knockers. <laughs> slobber knocker. Is there a difference? I like both. <laughs> yeah, exactly. is there a difference? <laughs> yeah. I like a good fight or we're, even a sloppy knocker. One's a verb. <laughs> did you, uh, you were down at the river this past weekend? Did y'all have yes, a good time? We did. Yeah. First, yeah, first full weekend. Nice. Yeah. Trying to get down. Have we told weekend. the story about um, our avid boater over here? Yeah, yeah he told okay. the story oh, last yeah. week to him. That, that was great. Was pretty funny. He gave you props for being the only guy to come over and help drag his yeah. cold, wet ass out of the water. Yeah. Well, so my question Healy's is, the only guy he, who cares. The only thing he didn't reference because he couldn't was actually how long it took him to get from. Did you see him? capsize and how long it took him to get to shore yeah, yeah. i don't have any real like frame of reference because i all... would say it was two minutes oh i was saying over five under ten no 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 because the story sounded like he was in the middle lake and it was a 20 minute <laughs> I mean, he swim. was but <laughs> yeah i would say two to five okay yeah, yeah it, it just it's so I mean, hard enough, to... i walked down there concerned that they weren't gonna be able to get out of the water because it's cold well no 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 because they're oh. been drinking oh that deep. too it yeah. was very deep and very cold, yeah. and we weren't making a lot of progress. Was it hilarious? Yeah. Oh, my God. Have you seen the picture? <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, we have a sunset picture, and it's an amazing he sunset. Said it was... You see two little heads in the water. Yeah. It's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. It was fun. I should make a Christmas card, I It think. should. Yeah, because he did say there was a before and after photo <laughs> for the sunset. There was a photo of yeah, going <laughs> out. <laughs> Honestly, there was a point later in the night, I don't know what it was, but I was sitting between him and the plumber, and I don't think I laughed harder than that. But they were going back and forth about whose fault it was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, like, who was more qualified to be the captain. Yeah. And then <laughs> Brendan's like, in fairness, I had a fish hook on my hat. So I feel <laughs> like... <laughs> And I'm like, Bummer, what is your counter to that point? And he's like, I don't have one. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Brendan did I say lost it. Brendan did say like the plumber, he was like, Hey plumber, should we grab uh life jackets? He's like, Oh, should we grab life jackets? <laughs> and then he said he, he was telling us how the canoe was set up and how like yeah. one seat's closer. And I'm yeah. like, Yeah, yeah. and Stu and I both are like, Yeah, that's the back. He's like, So I get in. And then the plumber gets in, and he's facing me. <laughs> <laughs> and exactly. So that makes it the plumber's fault, but then it's yeah. the worst because you're like, oh, I guess I'll just turn around. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. It's the opposite direction. Right. It yeah. was not. It was, it was, That's a great picture. Isn't Holy it? Cow. It was destined for failure from the jump. <laughs> sunset. It was. Just right between the two of them. Sunset cruise. <laughs> oh, that's a perfect. I know. And by the way, yeah, it's two little heads. Brendan knows jack shit about boats, and he is definitely more qualified than the plumber. For sure. <laughs> in all in yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, an hour, an hour before that, we had to get the plumber off of the toilet asleep. Yes. <laughs> you didn't tell Brilliant. that story. We yeah. had Brilliant. to check on him a bunch of times. We're like, the more. door's shut. After we bang on the door for a few minutes, he mumbles, so he's alive. Uh, yeah. And then we got him up. He started drinking. We gave him another hour to drink. Yeah, and, and then I, then you know, then and, you, boat. and then you made the decision to get in a boat with this dude. Yeah, for sure. So you were not firing on all cylinders. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that cop, that cap. But I don't have a, I don't have a, a way to defend myself here. I mean, I recognize. <laughs> I'm this really whole... surprised both of you made it out alive. Honestly, yeah. after hearing those little minute <laughs> details you left out. Right. Yeah, the devil's in the details. Yeah. I, I knew you. I knew you guys had had a few pops, but. I so didn't who know the, you had to rescue the plumber off the toilet, and then you were not far behind. So him. who's the captain conversation? They were kind of sober. 
No. No. Still, I mean, I because here's the thing. The way Brennan told the story, you'd have thought that after they got done and got out, they were just like completely shocked, sobered up, and like that was a life-altering event. <laughs> no, there was lots of laughs. They sobered up and had to get dry clothes on. Yeah. But then yeah. <laughs> it was downhill after that. <laughs> Back nah. at it. <laughs> Haley's the only one that I care about in that group. Anymore. That's for sure. They're all dead to me. <laughs> yeah, they all stayed there laughing hysterically. I laughed for a minute or two, but then I was but like, But you laughed right. and walked. You I laughed did. and yeah. walked. I did. And I yeah. respect that. Right. <laughs> Everyone else just, just laughed and was like, well, if they die, they die. Yeah. Like Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no one was. No, Ely would have gone in after you. No one else would have gone in after that's, you. And that's what I learned in those couple minutes when I saw him walking through like an angel. I was like, okay. <laughs> like an angel in a tuxedo t shirt <laughs> yeah. singing lead for Leonard Skinner. I can hear Ely mumbling right now, p- taking his phone out of his pocket. I'm like, God, God damn, damn it. it. I can't yeah. go in after go. these idiots. <laughs> well, no one else moved. We got yeah. a deli here. Well, we got changed here. the subject. I'm excited. You're not a, you're not a seaman. <laughs> This is a uh, everyone. Everyone loves Kirkland. Kirkland products are I do fantastic. Love they are amazing. So this is the Kirkland Citra Hop Session IPA. We anticipate that, like all Kirkland things, this will be fantastic. Ely has no taste. It says aromatic, bright, and hoppy. An IPA that greets you with a golden hue and a refreshing citrus-like aroma created from dry hopping with Citra. Cascade and Lemon Drop Hops. It features a bright hoppy flavor supported by discreet malt base. This is a brew that doesn't sacrifice flavor for drinkability. Yep. Original gravity, 11%. Alcohol by volume, 4.9. IBU, 41. Brendan, for you who may not know, the lower third of this can is blue. Yep. And this is a very loud, obnoxious lime green. Lime green. Bright gold. Lime green. <laughs> uh, back up really quick. If there, So I am on, I think this is coming up on week eight of no taste or smell. Oh. If there's any listeners out there, I'm trying to see if I'm breaking records here or if anyone is aware of it taking that long for them. We did have one buddy, uh-huh. and I know he he did not go the full two months, but he was close to it. Really? But he didn't go this long. If it's been eight weeks, you hold the record. But I do remember at like the six week mark, he was like, "Yeah, I'm still not. I'm still not taking." And then the next week, he was like, "Yeah, it's all back. I'm good." Right. I thought I remember hearing someone on a podcast talk about it, and they basically started doing PT for their smell. What? Like they would take. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, certain. Uh, I've heard coffee spices, beans. and you. You just would smell it every day to try to train your brain again. Like, yeah. this is this smell. This is that smell. Weird. Uh, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, right? You do sure. PT for other things. That no, makes Why perfect not? sense. Huh. They're saying, on average, within two to three weeks, you get half of your taste back. See, I have noticed that. I have a percentage of it. Well, you picked up on that Samoa beer yeah. two weeks ago. Well, I guess we're recording so early. It was probably only like a week and a half ago. But hmm. you did start to it pick up weird. on that. Mm. So it's coming back, but not uh, not quickly. No. Not quickly at all. So Question. It, yeah. Or do you want to talk about the beer? No, go ahead. We'll get back do to the Do you beer. get the vaccine right now running into summer? Yes. You do? I just got my first shot last week. I already have both my and shots. He's, he's double Is vaccinated. Make- Stu will never get vaccinated. So we're right. Gonna- but you don't know, see what I'm saying? Like Because it's supposed to be heat. Yeah, yeah, because it it goes Not away. As, it's, yeah. it's less. It's much more dormant in the summertime. Right. I mean, and it's likely going to be a yearly thing because it mutates. So you're going to have to get one every booster. Year. So why does it make sense? Yeah, last year we had spikes in the summer. So. Right, but I think it. I think it'll still be around until we get vaccinated. It won't get to be seasonal. But what I'm saying is, I think that, um, for at least from what I've read. The cha- what it's going to be in the fall could be a whole different strain. Right. So Unless you have to you get, get another enough, shot. But if you get enough vaccines to keep it from being able to proliferate and mutate, then that will slow down the likelihood of big mutations being able to spread and become normal. But doesn't doesn't that backwards? Doesn't isn't it isn't it running a, up against people that are vaccinated what makes it mutate? No, it's the, it's just the fact that more and more gets out there that there's more likelihood of a mutation starting to catch on. 
but I thought the mutation was because it's not working, so I have to mutate to be able you're, to latch on. You're looking at it through the lens of like super MRSA type stuff, like antibiotic antibiotic resistant bacteria. Mm-hmm. Easy like, for you to say. <laughs> that's that is kind of how that's of course that's how that comes to be. It has yeah. to find a way. <clears throat> but that bacteria is already everywhere. The coronavirus wasn't everywhere. So they're saying if they can knock down what we have, then there's less of it out there to mutate and grab hold. So we gotcha. can get the numbers low now. Mm-hmm. But you're right. I mean, over time, right, it'll it'll find a way. Oh, yeah. Nature always does. Ask your local left-hand doctor. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get back to you. Yes. So, Ely, can you taste this at all? Mm, I'm, a little bit. I can taste that it's an IPA and it's got some kind of citrus in it. So you picked up on the it's funky enough that it creeps through and you go, oh, that must be an idea. Uh, it makes me hate it less because I can't taste the hops as much. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Well, see, yeah. I don't think this is fair because for me, this is very light. This is very clean. I, it is – it, it is – I do taste the hop. I taste exactly what Ely does, but it tastes to me very, very subdued. So maybe his taste is more back than we thought because – this no, this is super light. Yeah, this is not nearly what it what a normal. Would you get more of the IPA that flavor that we're talking about that he's saying is so light if it had more alcohol content? Because this is only four point nine. Not necessarily. No, like not necessarily. But typically they do go hand in hand. But that's not a it's not a indicator for sure. This is just a it's dry hop, so it's all nose. Yeah, it doesn't last very long. So, so I'm starting to think I'm a dry hop fan. Yeah, if you want to smell it but not taste it, yeah. back of your back of your mouth. Hmm. That's 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 a dry hop thing. Who wants to? Why does Kirkland make everything great? Uh, it's crazy, isn't it? it? I mean, it's literally everything from yeah. their chick frozen chicken breast to yep. their chicken nuggets to to their dress shirts. Yes, yeah. yeah. like their dress shirts are the shit. It's crazy. So that's what I've been trying to research since I we got on the air was dress who, shirts. <laughs> yeah, who makes Kirkland's beer? Well. So it, tell, it tells you right Yeah, here. this one's not even hiding it. It's coming from someone called, and I love the name of this brewery. It's in San Hoppen, Jose. Hoppen und Malz. Right, brewing and company. malls. Well, mm. Yeah, so Hoppen, yeah. Hoppen Malz. And that's <laughs> that's exactly who actually came up in this little article about it. But they it. make but, liquor, too. <clears throat> right, yeah. and the, but it said it depends on their trusted veteran brewers, whether it's closer, closer to the East Coast or West Coast of where the beer is. I've always heard their liquors made by, like, top-in uh, liquor Companies and they just let them bottle it under their own name. You know what's funny about this beer? And they sell like if they sell clothes, like they're good clothes. Like they yeah, sell name brand shirts stuff. And yeah. stuff. Yeah, I, I tried this beer when I was like ten beers deep. Someone gave one to me. Oh, so shout out to the Duke because the Duke is who supplied us with this. Nice. And I was at the Duke's house and he Can gave you buy me that one. here. Can you buy this here? Yeah, he picked this up okay. at, at Kirkland or at Costco. And I tried it like 10 beers deep, and I was like, this is the most disappointing beer I'd ever had. And now that I'm not 10 beers deep. Changing? I'm, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I thought this was going to get panned, and now I question if it'll get panned. I thought I thought I was kind of, I was seeding us with a turd, and now I'm questioning if that's going to uh, happen. But the Duke thought we'd like it? Well, the Duke was unimpressed, or he wouldn't have given me four. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Well, who wants to go? Who go ahead, Stu. Does the Duke like IPAs in general? Yes. Okay. So what? It, it wasn't enough IPA for him. Oh, this is not a Hophead's beer. I don't want to bury the no. lead, but that's this is not a Hophead's beer. Yeah. I'll give him for going with electric green and blue. It's golden blue. Yeah. Yeah. Your can. Your you can. Got the one. <laughs> you got the one weird one. Yeah. Yours was in the sun. <laughs> it was a test. I see that. Was, yeah. We tested you, and you passed. Nailed it. No, I mean, it's, actually, I like it because it's the fact that it just tells you exactly what it is and what you're getting. Um, yeah, I do get that aftertaste. It's kind of hanging around on the top roof of my mouth, so I definitely know that's a IPA. Can taste the citrus, but, again, not leaning towards it. It is light. Um, it is kind of the refreshing side of things, and I, I'll, just, yeah. I'll give it a – uh, I'm going to give it a three just because – I don't want to go two and a half because I kind of like it a little bit more than that. I'm drinking it. Yeah. So I can say over the ages of doing this podcast, I'm ages. slowly becoming more <laughs> right. attuned to the IPA and some of them I like, some of them I don't. There you I'll go. I'll give this one a three. Okay. It's a three. 
So I love the I love the all things Kirkland. We've kind of touched on it. They just do so many things great. They the marketing is good. It's good looking. It's simple. It's clean. Cool colors. Uh, the beer, such a good beer. If you're not a hophead, if you are a hophead, you might be might be underselling it. But I think this is a delicious beer. Finish is very clean. Just enough hop that you know it's an IPA. Just enough citrus to cut that hop down. I give this a three and a half. I like this beer. I oh, might shit. even buy it. I mean, wow. it's that good. This is like this is something you can have in your cooler. Yeah. Like, hey, if you want a hot beer, there's a session IPA yep. over there. I would not be mad at it. There you go. Okay. Maybe a little more alcohol would be nice. I Get like the whole. Five. I like the whole Notre Dame color scheme. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, Seriously, that looks gold to you. Yeah, I thought he was trying to trick me, so I was like, ha I know gold when I see gold. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I could see how it could be green now that you say it. Yeah. It's the same color as your tap. That's not even close, bro. It's closer to the, this part, the top part. Yeah, the okay. yeah. Well, that's gold, so. <laughs> I don't understand what your fucking point is here. <laughs> All right, so this beer is super light, like like super light, and and that's what unimpresses me with it. Like if I was gonna get a session, but forty one on the IBUs, not it's not. Low. That's the yeah. thing. It's not, but it tastes that way. But I feel like a Founders All Day IPA, something like that, like more of the traditional session IPAs. They have more on it. This is brighter. Yes. You know what I mean? It's like more like more like a lager backbone. You know what this is? It's like a hoppier version of something like a Sam seventy six almost, which is now yeah. called Wicked Easy, by the way. Oh. We recommended that to everybody. If you don't, if you can't find the Sam Seventy Sixes, go find Wicked Easy. They changed it for marketing purposes. Wicked, yeah, Wicked Easy. I can't so, even do accents now. Would you say that's Invisalign? It's kind of crispier. I would say brighter, right? Because it's like it's it's very light and bright. I actually enjoy it more than I did when I had it the last time. I'm with Stu though. I'm not going above a three. I like that it citra hops. It's not overpowering. It's just not. There's just not enough going on for me to say, yes, this is your, you have found your session IPA. I don't if know if I've ever heard of lemon drop hops. Yeah, it doesn't get used a lot, but it, it's out there. Hmm. So, all right, we got a three, three and a half and a three. Yep. And then, Ely, this is going to be asterisks, I'm guessing. Cause uh, sure. I mean, I enjoy it, though. I can tell that it's lighter. It's not as smacking mouth with hops. It's um, not a slobber knocker. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, and at... Four percent won't make me slobber on the knockers. Exactly. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but no, I enjoy it. I, you know, in the IPA world, it's higher than many just because of that. I would give it a three. Which for Ely, it's saying something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. That's hmm. still pretty good all the way around, yeah. even though if it's not a deli, like whatever it makes me taste the IPA hops less is going to get a higher score. Right. Yeah. Well, so Kirkland does it again. Quality down you, the middle. Yeah. Who do you think they're? Who do you think this is though? Like it's, you know, no, 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 no. <laughs> like Hoppin und Malt. That's I'm brewing. Brewing yeah. But company. who do you think it is? Right. The the <laughs> knock like this is like we were saying Steve? earlier. You can get the Costco brand. You get the Costco Scott brand made vodka. This, yeah, for did. sure. Yeah, right. You get the Costco brand vodka, and it's actually Belvedere. You're, so I mean, out, it's, figure out who the top three largest breweries like in. San Jose are right, and that might give you. You're saying it might be like a yeah. division, like they just that's look up because they okay. need someone who has enough manufacturing that they can produce a bunch of Kirkland stuff in scale. addition. Yeah, yeah. because it used to be that they would come out of New York and it was all coming out of Saranac, and Saranac yeah. had the ability to make that much beer, so they could. Yeah, because you could get the possible. Kirkland variety pack, twelve bottles, and it was all. Yeah, so if Saranac you look up beer. the three yeah. largest. Uh, craft beer breweries in San Jose. One of them is probably that your might answer. be it. So the other education question that I have is, uh, what does original gravity mean? Eleven percent. That's a new one on me. I don't know what that means. All I know is it's it's when you 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 drop something in there and it's how buoyant it is. Okay. Google that shit. In the it, it's <laughs> but you do have to do that. You have to. The original gravity changes over time. All I know is when I make my own beer, I have to put something in there and I test the buoyancy. You take the, the original gravity, 
And then something about that helps you find out. Like Sometimes I'm glad I never got into. Me too. God, it sounded like it would have been fun. And then everyone I know who does it, like, it just is, takes up time and money and effort. And it's like, yeah. Or you go down the street and buy that shit all day for yeah. 50 cents a pop. Right. A dollar a pop. Like, I feel the same way about people that like horses. Yeah. They're expensive for yeah. sure. That's like the benefit to. Horse shit ratio is way off the scale. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you like getting up early and going feet yeah. and brushing and for cleaning. so yeah. you could ride in a circle for fifty yards. <laughs> yeah. Hope it was worth it. And my, yeah. my my daughters do horseback every week. Like I got to take them to. Yeah, that but you shit. do it the right way. Yeah, you like rent, pay somebody. I rent to do all it. that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some other people that like move into a farm and they're like, "This is our new life." Yeah, my daughter yeah. loves horses. And you're like, no, yeah. I'm not doing that. They keep going. Can we get a horse? I'm like, Absolutely not. Yeah. Do you want to go to horseback riding? You can go to horseback. Yeah. Riding. Yeah, it's so, even worse when you buy a horse and you don't even lit like you can't even house that thing. You got to pay the house it yeah. somewhere else and then go take care of it somewhere else. Yeah. Well, so so getting- my my buddy in Atlanta, his his daughter rides horses and he couldn't afford to buy a horse. And something I had learned, him and two other families, they split it three ways and they lease a horse monthly, and that's the horse that their three da- like the three daughters use. I was like, yeah. you can, it's like, it's like it's brilliant. It's like going in on a boat with a yeah. buddy. That just seems like a problem. Dude, every kid that has a dog was told, if we get this dog, you're feeding and walking the it. Yeah. 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 And they can't do that. And then it's like, if we get this horse, exactly. here's what you're going to do. Like, no, it's more work for the parents. So right. I, I think I got a shot at getting one of my one of my girls into, into golf. Again, I've been trying Ooh, this for years. You got to do that. And then finally my wife was like, well, you got to do something. Like, you got to have something just beyond horse. You have to have two activities. She was like, well, I don't want to do anything. And I was like, might I suggest you try golf again? And she was like, yeah, dad and I are going to play golf. And I was like, are you willing to take lessons? She was like, yeah, absolutely. Like, that sounds so much better. I was like, jackpot. If by the end of the summer I could just play rounds with my kids. Yes. Woo! Why the two, why the two <laughs> things? What if it's one thing they really like? If they were really, like, excelling at something. Uh-huh. Then, but right now it's like they keep trying something and quitting something. Yeah, so, like, yeah, yeah. my wife's just trying to get them to kind of get out there. Find and their it. thing. But so I'm stay busy too. Yeah. Finger, yeah. Yeah. And fingers crossed that, that golf will catch on at least with one of them because they both can hit it, but they don't care about it at yeah. all. So I'm like, somebody may maybe teach them, get there. But that it had me thinking about did you see this this article about uh, Michael Jordan's golf course? Have you seen the course that he has? The one that they say disadvantages pros? Yes. So yeah. that's like a private club that he created. They yeah. only, it's only 100 members. Like Ricky Fowler's a member. Like he's got. It is like the most exclusive. What must be the fees if there's a 100 members that can 100 play 100 members that can play it. And they're jet-setting people, so it's not like they're there all the time. Yeah. You, know? you can have a foursome on every hole, and you still have empty holes. <laughs> like, you just yeah, don't yeah. like, it's crazy. It's beautiful. A lot of times with courses like that, what they do is they just um, divide up the annual costs and, and yeah. pay for it evenly. Oh, to have oh, much okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what they do at... Um, What's the one here? Kenlock. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So did you see, you, you, you touched on it, how they say that <laughs> Jordan designed the course so that it kind of negated the pros so he could win money money with them? Yeah. yeah. Did you see how he did it? No, I did not. I saw the headline, it's but brilliant. I don't understand how he could design a course that would that the pros couldn't. You put tons of bunkers you, in their driving range. So the, you want to say basically Yeah, basically what he did was, However far he can drive, right? <laughs> he put the bunkers 50 yards farther. No. Oh. It's wide. Oh. So it's super wide for the first, like, 250 yards. Yeah. Then, but at 250, man, that right bad boy yeah. narrows exactly out dramatically. Genius. And so when they bomb them 300 yards, if they're not within this, like, 20-yard window, right. they're hosed. But he can bomb it, and it ends right there, and then he can just kind of shoot his little club into the, the narrow spot dude he did it you're on, a pro golfer little club well jordan <laughs> yeah <laughs> but so he did this on every single hole on the course there's yeah. not one that isn't wide for 200 yards and then narrow there's gotta be there's par threes right i mean you gotta no I mean, if there's a drive okay yeah. all 18 of of the 18 of the all the ones that require a driver he just said hey i got it you dumbass and then he still makes them. Apparently, like I saw an interview with Ricky Fowler. They give him a shot. He still insists on them playing at handicap. <laughs> really? Yeah. Every one of them, he insists oh, yeah. on it. So you he gets to. ten strokes, you know. As he should. 
But then he also has the course design, so he's just taking And he knows money. it backwards and forwards, because that always that does help in golf. Oh, it does, definitely. Like, you know... He has a rule. They have to change the whole, the pin placement every day. Yeah, yeah. Tees and pins are done every day, depending on who he's playing with, and he, he can just play from the same tees. Is this in North Carolina? <laughs> um, I don't know where it is, but how, how crazy is that? He's like, hey, DeChambeau's coming out, so I want that, I want that thing way back here or yeah. over here. He screws the guy. He talks to the grounds but guy. But pin day placement before. is only screwing is screwing everyone. It's screwing yeah. him more. Oh, the name of the Probably. course is the Grove, twenty three in Roman numerals, and it's in Florida. Oh, okay. I would love to play that course because guess what? It's wide for my first three shots. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah we're also pretending right. like pros are really struggling if they're in the first cut. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. My game's ruined. <laughs> I'm off the I'm off the fairway. Or they yeah. don't learn quickly. Yeah. Like, that's one thing that always impresses me about the pros when you see them interviewed afterwards. You, they're like, the interviewer's like, so what happened on five? And he's like, oh, on five I hit the seven iron this, and then I hit I would, caught it fat with it. The, and they remember they every remember single every shot. detail. And yeah. like, I'd be like, what shot was that? I, Dude, I can't remember. I don't remember I what I carded there. on five. Exactly. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Which hole was there. that again? Yeah. <laughs> I stand there in the fairway and then point over there at the woods and go, that's definitely one. And I point oh, over yeah, there they're and like, go two. I can't remember how many strokes. I have to go through yeah. that mental hurdle five different times. They're like hole five, the dog leg left that you hit it, you know, 320 yards. And then you followed up with the, and you're like, huh, what? Yeah. That's the difference, though. There's yeah. a laser, there's a le- level of laser focus that I just do not have. Right. Yeah. I don't have it. Nope. I just I, I can't do that. And I don't have that 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 mentality to kill like Jordan has. I bet he still loses where, more than he wins. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Well But he handicap. just gambles more and gambles yeah. more. I mean Jordan is a psycho. The oh, fact yeah. that he did yeah. that, I did, I love his killer instinct. Like That and, is hilarious that he went through those efforts. Like Yes. I'm gonna show these pros. Yeah, I will be beating the pros on my course. <laughs> but he's about what, two steps shy of uh Kim Jong Un, who's yeah. like, put me down for an ace, right? An ace. Exactly. <laughs> it's my course. I did. I got a hole in one. To your yeah. point about familiarity with the course, I played with some old dudes at Meadowbrook Country Club one time, and they're the dudes that have been members for thirty years. Yeah, right. they're they like sixty-five tree. to seventy. They watch the and trees I hit grow. the ball hundred yards beyond them. Yep. But they're like, just talking and hitting the ball as we like. They know where everything is. Hits the ball like 150 yards, 180 yards, and their second shot rolls on the edge of the green. If they've just yeah. done it so many times, yeah. they know every club that what they need to use, and they know how to do it. And it's like amazing how good they can be just because they play it all the time. So you think that's more fun after that's 30 a good years? Question. Lower, like, lower scores. I've are always, more fun. Or I've just, always said that playing the same course forever would sound miserable. I mean, playing the same course for maybe a year would be cool. Yeah, but after that, I'd be like, all right. So yeah. can we go somewhere else? To me, that says if there's a foursome and they're all been there for 30 years and they're doing the same thing like you're talking about, they're not there for the golf. They're there just to hang out with each other. I was about to say that oh, is yeah, what it is. Sure. Is that what half exactly. of golf is? Yes. Yeah, it's I mean, leaving. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's leaving the house and getting into a field where yeah. it's very hard to find you. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's about. So in my world, speaking of MJ, his mansion in Chicago, it's been Still on the market sold. for nine years. They dropped the price half. It was 29 Now it's only $14 million. But wow. if you need a twenty, if you need a what, a fifty-three thousand square foot mansion, well, and go halvesies. And if you love the number twenty-three, because <laughs> it's gate. on everything. <laughs> yeah. He and he's not gonna. He just when you're Jordan, hurry. you could like. I get like. My kid has a number that he picked, and it's been his number for years on his little league teams, and he has the same number, and he yeah. likes to put it on stuff, and I get that. When you're Jordan and you're twenty-three. You might be able to leave it off a couple things. I think we'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think it's right. necessary. Yeah, yeah, we know who you are. Yeah. What was your number again? Right. <laughs> You're 45, right? Yeah, yeah. 32, was it? I'm, yeah. Could you post this somewhere? Could you hang on the wall so I can <laughs> yeah. remember? <laughs> Man. So, did you guys, speaking of MJ basketball, did you guys watch the any of the Sweet 16 this past weekend? Yeah, I mean, I stopped caring a little bit. Because you know I'm horrible at picking teams. Yeah. So I, I've I've tuned out some, but there are some teams that I do want to see. Like I wanted to watch Oral Roberts try to win. Like yeah. those those stories I still care about. Yeah, that was a great game. It didn't work out. But. I just I just bring it up because I thought it was great um, that 
you didn't have to wait a day in between. Like, usually it's a Thursday, the Sweet 16. You know, eight teams on Thursday and another – or four, 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 and four. They go I've Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I've actually enjoyed this setup. Sunday, and they just – I've heard a lot of people say that. Yeah, yeah Saturday, this has, Sunday, been, a, this has been a better setup than the Thursday, Friday, you know, I mean, they were playing f- roll-in. It's Now it's Friday. It, you do the play-in games on Thursday. Right, last – and then it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They were done, and now it's just weekend, Saturday, Sunday, where the whole stretched out. Yeah, I've, been, I've enjoyed that quite a bit. That's for sure. Yeah. But I've noticed uh, I'm not very good at this, like picking them. Remember how I was telling you guys I had all that money in that yeah. FanDuel account? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cash it out and now you're rich? No. You're going to buy Jordan's uh, But I'm, I, I'm losing money at a pretty good clip at 5 and $10. A, 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 like, I have not won a single bet in college basketball. And if anyone's in the inside the pallet house brackets, you're fully aware that I'm horrible at yeah you did not pick well Hmm. no and every single game i've picked i probably bet on like seven games i've lost that's crazy it's unbelievable back to jordan's mansion some rich fan dude hadn't bought that thing like there's a lot of rich people that can afford 30 million dollar homes like you're telling me someone some uh Silicon Valley guy that didn't grow up watching Jordan one like, yes, I would like to own that home that has right. 23 on everything. Like, how was that a hard sell? Yeah. I'm always shocked when those places don't sell because they have the history. Yeah. You know, like, oh, that was Muhammad Ali's apartment. Yeah. Buy that. Yeah. yeah. His apartment, not 53,000 square feet with 26 bathrooms. It's 53,000 square feet. Yeah. What are you going to. It's a lot of square feet. That's 50. <laughs> I'm guessing it's outside of Chicago, not like. It is. Yeah, it's, it's it's not in the city. Yeah. Yeah. But still, like, you're telling me there's not some Arab dude who owns an oil company and doesn't just want to own Michael Jordan's home? I just can't. I can't you understand think that. Kim Jong-un, you brought it up. I mean, he's a diehard yeah. Bulls fan. Yeah. He's got the money. He should do it. Well, I think yeah. he has the money. Yeah. His people think he has the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, the GDP coming out of there is probably not massive. Considering they don't yeah. import or export. I mean, yeah. that dude sells, like, jerseys for six feet, like, $100,000. <laughs> like, yeah. you could buy his home for a few more $100,000. Nah, we're good. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> Jeez yeah. Louise. Chef's kitchen, movie theater, cigar room, poker room, wine cellar, tennis court, seven acres, three floors. Good starter home. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Can I get yeah. an FHA? We're first time home buyers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They'll be on uh, House Hunters. It'll be like, I'm an underwater basket weaver and I'm still in school. Yeah. We'll buy Michael Jordan's mansion. Right. Seems reasonable. Yeah. Oh, man. It seems reasonable. We sell vaccine cards. We're making a killing. Right. Yeah. Do you that's hear about be, that? That's going to be hot. That's there was a dude in Florida just got popped for that. He was selling vaccine cards. Yeah, well, he it's fucking amazing put, put it on TikTok. Have you yeah. seen what a vaccine card looks like? Yeah. I mean, it's just a piece of, it's like an index card. Stock yeah. paper. It's like a It's your scorecard from yeah. Jordan's golf course. No. <laughs> yeah, it's, no, it's actually. that's nicer. That's way nicer. <laughs> but it is basically like a scorecard. I mean, yeah. there's nothing to it. Mm-hmm. Well, what is to keep people from doing this? I mean, I'm shocked that this was the first guy I've heard of doing yeah. it. And if they really start to require this for like sporting events or like Flying. concerts, getting on a plane yeah. to go somewhere. The black market for vaccine cards is going to be through the roof. Is it? Like, I feel like anyone, and I'm not anyone because I do not have these skills, but I feel like any decent person with computer knowledge could probably print one out. Yeah, I, I guess, mean, it, it, I guess the bar is so low yeah. that yeah. how is it that you're making a ton? But maybe. Yeah, but you know what? I think, huh. the, I think the next thing is it's kind of like uh, doctors who, you know, with pain pills were just would Write scripts, script, stroke yeah. a script. So you're going to get a doctor who's shady, and he's like, yeah, you know, I'm on the side. Because you got to have a signature there. I mean, granted, you could do it no, you via don't. the printer. There's no, there's no doctor there's no, signature. Nope. No, it's initialed. There's yeah. nothing that says Mine's it's not. official? My, I had someone initial it. Or no, that I think they wrote CBS. That's all they wrote. <laughs> what? So, I'll show you mine. Somebody, fil- somebody wrote on it, but it, it looks like, it just looks like I could have wrote on it. There's no signature or anything on it. It's There's what it not, is. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking of. Is the C, but that's just where where you were. Yeah. CJ, anybody could initial it. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Yeah, these things. I filled out the top. It was given to me blank. It was given to me blank, too. And yeah. I said, I said, can I have three? <laughs> this is. Mm. 
That's ridiculous. It's just black and white. Like, it doesn't have any watermarks or anything. They like, were shooting him into the crowd with a T-shirt gun. It was pretty weird. much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next basketball game. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know those stripper dollar bill fans. machines? Yeah, they just had a whole stack of them in there. Right. Yeah. Oprah's like, you get a vaccine yeah. card. You get yeah. a vaccine under card. Your, <laughs> <laughs> under your under seat. Under your seat. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's going nuts. We're all going to Firefly or Bonnaroo. Yeah. <laughs> like, but why did he put it on TikTok? Like, that's where he went wrong. Well, you saw, oh, uh, side note, you saw where our Kroger made national news with the uh, empty vaccines? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, so they the, screwed up. They gave, a, they gave a handful of, like, empty shots. Ooh. The one lady thought the other one was filling it, and then the other lady was just administering, so she had all the shots sitting there. And she didn't even notice. I thought you died if air was put if in. It's you. A, if it's not, if, if it's, it's a, not enough, but and it that's has to go into your vein, like vein, and that's just into your muscle. Yeah. Well, apparently they administered a bunch of shots, and then they had to call everyone back, and they were like, "Hey, our bad. That sore arm thing." Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that yeah. one's on me, guys. <laughs> yeah. That one's do on over. Me. Yeah. The crazy thing is, is that they thought they got the vaccine, then they get sick, and something really bad happens. Oh, that's no full shit. on Kroger's paying my bills. <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh, yeah. That's the truth. Give me yeah. one of them unlimited cards. <laughs> yeah. Free, yeah. free right. beer for life. Yep. <laughs> yep. Frequent shopper card. That's that can right. scan at the exit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm not walking in this thing ever again. You're bringing all my yeah. shit out to yeah. the yeah. car. The day of the the day of the cashier having to swipe her own discount <laughs> yeah. card yeah. are over. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting yeah. my own discount that's card. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Mr. Kroger. Yeah. <laughs> and you know me put my phone number at the gas tank? No. <laughs> Yeah, I get free gas too. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's called Kroger. Hey, if you guys could come over and fill up my truck, I gotta <laughs> go nice. somewhere in an hour. Damn, that yeah. sucks, man. Yeah, but vaccine well, cards are vaccine cards are crap. Yeah, like these things, the the, the black market's gonna be through the roof for sure. It just has to be. I mean, I saw mine and was like, and the the lady even said she goes, I recommend you keep it in a safe place and just photocopy it and take the photocopy around. Yeah. To give it to like, all your friends. I was like, oh, okay. So I can just hand out my photocopied card. I mean, this is like easier than a fake ID. Hey, yeah. guys, here's oh, a yeah. screen. Like you're trying a- to get in a concert, and then you just pass back your photocopy. Yeah. yeah. You're like, all right, buddy, you're in. Here's a screenshot of my passport. Can I get in? Well, and if you take a <laughs> photocopy, you can easily change the name, like wipe your name out and put someone else's name in it. Yeah, it's not going to be long before you're just getting like, okay, here's the file. Print it out. But the yeah. Ely's yeah. point and to what I would say my point too is it's gonna it's gonna mutate. They're gonna have to do something different. And that card is just exactly for what it is, which is the next six to nine months. What do you see on the back? It's already got two more slots, spaces. Two slots for boosters. Oh yeah. 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 Because they <laughs> they assume that's coming where they're gonna have to Shh, don't tell the fakers. They'll figure it out. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I blew I blew our shark cover. Yeah. Damn it. Well, Shit. it's coming. But when they designed that, no one thought about that. Honestly, like they're not even putting it like in a computer system no. or anything. Because I finally got Virginia Department of Health finally hit me up today, and I'm like, oh yeah, well I already got one, but I guess no one, no one's well, passing this information. Something back. they must have. Is there really no record of of the people who have it other than the Virginia card? hit me up today? The and card said, is You're the only thing- eligible. So they didn't have any record of me getting one, even though they had all my information. I mean, I'm, I'm just curious. Somebody must have, I think, nationalized the card because I see people posting their cards on Facebook saying, hey, I got vaccinated, but they're in different states. Yeah, what did you say that term was? Didn't you just show me a term for someone who brags that oh. they're fully vaccinated? <laughs> yeah, so when, we looked up, when I looked up Slavernocker and Urban Dictionary, right underneath right underneath it, the word vax hole comes up. <laughs> and it says one who's been fully vaccinated with yes. COVID-19 and brags about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got to brag same, about it's it. It's the same disease as the voter, though. As Stu oh, has an I voted sticker on his computer right there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's on his computer. <laughs> At least it's not. I didn't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> The trash. Did you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Not take it like an adult? Uh, oh, I take them. I stack them. They're in my, like, if you look at my center console, I got all kinds of I voted stickers. Why? Why? I don't know. Maybe one day for Halloween or something, I'll go as, like, hoarder. I wish you'd been here when I went on my rant last week about the COVID people and the vote I voted people. Yeah. It drives me crazy. And then I come on a podcast yeah. and mention it. Is that is that as bad? I didn't put it on social media. 
but I did bring it up on the podcast. No, you were you're talking about something that happened. It, it wasn't I'm a social w- meet. You weren't bragging about it. I didn't. No, I feel bad media. for everyone who doesn't just, have it. Like yeah, I can't yeah. believe Stuck. how screwed up this shit is. It's been a nightmare. Yeah, tr- Troy was good. He was like, "Why are you flexing your car?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <on> last podcast. <laughs> Making other people a lot feel of people bad. do it. <laughs> yeah, and it just, I just, I just. I'd like to apologize. There, actually, no, I wouldn't. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, be a grown up. Another what? side of Troy's car. Be a like, grown up. Yeah. I thought you were really gonna be nice for a second there. I should have known. Yeah. Sorry. So this is really funny though. I mean, I'm just looking at Urban Dictionary. Granted, we looked up. I looked up a slobber knocker, and there are five thousand definitions and uses of slobber knocker but the second one is vax hole like see this like is they this, threw this, that word in there this is like the That's youtube weird. algorithm yeah. yeah it's like yeah. i'm i'm trying to look up slobber knocker and it's like five different definitions but the second one is here's this word vax hole <laughs> so it literally yeah it says slobber knocker and then it's different spellings and slobber knockers and different things but yeah number two is just for no reason out of nowhere vax hole which is the exact YouTube hole we were talking about. It just yep. you know, the algorithm goes, you know what they'll Urban, probably click on? I never really get on Urban Dictionary, but they're telling me telling me the March 29th trending words. Watermelon sugar, ghetto spread, girl who eats carry it, carrots, sorority squat, and Dirk. Can I get a um, heads up on Dirk? That's the one you want to know about? Yeah. It's the one that I think we can learn about without, <laughs> without, without going down. Uh, this is the one that I thought Dirk. would be the safest. I don't think you can learn about anything on Urban Dictionary. It's not Neander- Neanderthal patriarch responsible for the great 20,000 B.C. fire party having discovered wine. Psh, Dirk rules. Dirk. <laughs> Dirk rules. Uh, oh, Dirk r- rules. <laughs> Dirk threw one hell of a hellacious root and toot and cave party. <laughs> what in the holy Oh, hell? my God. Look at this, Brendan, though. Seriously, the same word, dirt, over and over again, but the second word is vax hole. Diggler. So they're just <laughs> working vax hole. They're into, pushing the vax hole thing. So urban is either, uh, yeah, they don't like the fact that somebody's flexing the fact that they're fully vaccinated and brags about it. That's crazy. That's wild. Hmm. So I've always been a huge Urban Dictionary fan. Do you see that we're fucked? This is <laughs> okay. Thanks random to, to the vax holes? <laughs> no. So, uh, you know, we've been trying to, like, colonize the moon for a while. Like, we, we have the International Space Station, which everybody participates in. Russia's been an, a very equal partner with us. In the I thought we moved past the moon and just went to Mars now. Well, are now we, we still are, trying to go back to the moon? So we put together, like, a, a unified front. We put out a bunch of rules, and we said that, you know, there shouldn't be, like, statehood or international on the moon, like, Let's let's colonize it as a as a populace, right? And let's get up there. So that's bullshit. Well, so the U.S. Who has gets been, up there first? This theirs. Well, right. so the and U.S. We has been kind of pushing that, like allowing people in, like we're all going to kind of kumbaya and colonize the moon. Two countries said no. What two countries do you think said hell no and formed their own group to go to the moon? Russia. One. China. North Korea. China too, China. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Russia and China said Not Korea and Germany. They usually go off on their own too. No, nope. no, Germany's. So uh, if it happened to be fifty fifty, half of the moon is going to be. There's going to be no fifty fifty. We're the all going to be fighting. Over or there's going to be a war, space war. Yeah. So now <laughs> Russia and China have joined forces. They said, "Screw you to your kumbaya moon, you know, society." And they're like, "If anyone wants to join us, we're going up first, and we're colonizing it." Like. As our community, China and Russia. Good for them. Yeah. We'll be on Mars. Yeah, which means Earth screwed. Because you know what's a lot closer? The moon. Do you not see any any concern with them putting their their flag down and saying, screw you guys, we're going to do this on our own? No. I think that's, this is the beginning of uh, bigger bigger problems. I think we need that. I'm cool with that. You want fighting on the moon? I want fighting all over. <laughs> Marine forever. <laughs> yeah. Blood makes the grass grow. That's, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah. I knew you were going to say that. You can't grow grass on the moon. <laughs> Not enough blood. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. You see any blood up there? You had any Marines up yeah. there yet. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I kind of agree with Ely. We kind of need somebody to challenge us. I mean, hmm. it's... I don't know. I just feel like as 
we've talked about it multiple times. We can't times. all be one kumbaya. There's, n- there's never going to be this one kumbaya. The whole world hugs each other. I feel like our culture sucks so much. The only thing that's going to get us back to square is some sort of disaster. Probably. Okay. Do you mean like aliens come down and Anything. then all of a sudden? Because I've us come always together. thought of that like aliens come down and immediately borders disappear. Like you're like, we got to get together because we have a, a common enemy that is superior to human race. Yeah. So now, okay, I'm willing to admit it. We're all humans. It's kind of how I think the, that's the only thing that's going to get the world to kind of come together. Because yeah. even as like coronavirus, granted, it was not the, it's not the killer that, but like, had it been, do you think that we would have all just joined forces? Because we certainly didn't. We immediately, no, we, we still so. kind of closed up and we're like, nope, 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 save us, fuck you. That was kind of the mentality of everybody in their own way. Yeah. Even though the world's gotten smaller, isn't it still hard for your everyday man to like feel a part of something that's happening across the other Hell side yeah, of the world? When you see I mean, Australia on fire, yeah, you're like, wow, that's horrible. But you also don't have any field of reference for what Australia is. Yeah. Like how vast it is, and how because you've never been, and you've yep. never like experienced it. That's why I think everyone should travel because you see places and you're like, oh, okay, this is a whole world, like that doesn't care about me, yeah, or where I am. It's never even heard of Virginia. Nonetheless, they know the U.S., but you know the whole world's like that, and you don't you don't see that. But it it didn't happen with a virus. Maybe it takes a bigger virus. Are we even trying to colonize on the moon? Is that something we're doing? I mean, we haven't been yeah, in the moon forever. Yeah, we put out the the, well, the rules. Seventy seven, last time. First, chalk it up. What? The first. No, up we there. were first. Yeah, we that wasn't, wasn't the first time. Nineteen seventy seven was the last time we visited the moon as a race. Any human. Any human. On and the moon. granted, it was the Americans. <laughs> I mean, yeah. every time, but first and last. <clears throat> well, not coming soon. Second to space, though. Yeah, yeah the, Russia, the Russia Russians first, right? got to space yeah. first. Yeah, now they're talking about opening a hotel up there. You see that? There's this hotel. They're talking about having... I haven't seen with, any of the shit you're talking about. <laughs> within the next, within the next like, five years, construction will begin, and they think in ten years you'll be able to go actually stay in a hotel that's orbiting... He's, he's following yeah. the same pages that tell him he can afford Jordan's mansion. So that's a different story. I can, I can get down with that. The whole orbiting hotel? I thought you meant like sitting on the moon. No, it's just an orbiting hotel. Yeah. They're building yeah. it. And it, it's funny. It's like. Who's they? Uh, private investors. Huh. But it is happening. And it's like the, the typical spoke design you always see in science fiction movies. Yeah. Like the spoke wheel design. Yeah. That's actually what they're, what they're creating. Interesting. And construction starts in just a couple years. And like with all this privatization, like Elon Musk and everything going up there, like. It's really starting to advance relatively quickly. Yeah. And this guy's saying, yeah, I got this. And I he's think OSHA's going to make him wear hard hats and yellow <laughs> really? vests and backup beepers on everything like yeah. they do here. Am I the only one that doesn't understand the need to leave? No. I mean, I don't yeah, have any I'm desire not, to go I'm up there you. and stay like, in that hotel. Who's like, we need to spend trillions to leave? Yeah. I don't, like, I'm, maybe I'm missing something. Well, I feel like every time you fly anywhere here, you're like, as soon as you get up out of the airport, you're like, oh, shit, there's nothing out here. Right, yeah. But what I mean, are we I, talking about? I understand the curiosity piece, but I'm saying yes. like the whole, like, oh, my God, we've got to colonize the moon. I'm like, what? Well, the problem I? I have with it, and this, I'm, I'm a weirdo like this, but, like, say you go to Mars, right? The biggest catastrophe that could befall us is something to happen with the sun. Everything revolves around the sun. Without the sun, our entire universe, is, our galaxy is hosed. Yeah. So, like... We race to go colonize another planet that's still beholden to the same sun. If you really want to move human life out there, you have to get outside of our galaxy. You have to be relying on another sun and then another sun. You need to keep moving. So you're saying, assuming that you can find the other sun is newer? Like, what would dictate whether another sun's more stable or less stable? We don't know enough to really know that. Well, but, they know but, enough to know that your theory sucks because they ain't traveling that far. Because they can't do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're trying to get to the next jumping off spot, but ultimately. Well, you start somewhere. Yeah, I think the yeah. ultimate goal is to keep on moving until you're yes. out of the galaxy. Which Elon talks about on the most recent 
Rogan podcast. Really? Yeah. See, I, Elon and I are kind of like simpatico. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. Well, I get y'all confused. I mean, it all started. <laughs> yeah. I think it was. I mean, it all follows down the path of the fact that we once we realize that the sun is not infinite, then we got to get the that's hell what I'm out saying. of it. So you have to make the first even, step. Yeah, but that's even the if the human race is around by the time the sun burns out. Yeah, we ain't. Yeah, that's somebody else's problem. That's billions of years. <laughs> But, like, the moon would be okay if the whole world went nuclear because that would just kill everything, but the Earth would still be there. The moon would still be spinning. So I understand colonize the moon, colonize Mars. The but sun's the problem. why couldn't someone just shoot the fucking moon? Oh, you could. Yeah, there's all these problems. Right. Yeah, no, it's, it's you got to get out of this galaxy. But then we're just, no. The, okay, look. The problem <laughs> is human nature. Wherever the fuck yes. we go, we're going to do the yes. same thing. Right. It's human nature that needs to be worked on. Why are we trying to take shitty people another place? Bingo. Because they'll be better when they're isolated oh. from the rest of the world. Gotcha. Because everyone's going to love everyone all the time. Yeah. Yes, it'll That's be utopia. It all right, see, Troy gets it. Yeah, yes. I do. Now I get it. Oh, it's kind of like Waco. We ain't coming out. <laughs> it's what similar. A cookout. <laughs> what a cookout. <laughs> what a cookout. This is the best place ever. Okay, we're all dead. <laughs> we, can't get, we can't get people in the same county to agree on certain things and we're yeah. talking about making the world hug each other like it drives me crazy man no. Ooh, allow me to take a step back and say fuck power 10 continue <laughs> exactly. oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, power i 10, think dude. i talked about it on the podcast we the wife and i watched this netflix documentary called deaf you it was about a university up in dc with deaf students Gal you and yeah and they literally they interview one-on-one with these students and they have like a a social level like oh that person's not really deaf. They have hearing, so we don't like them. Yeah, and it's like there's 300 people that can't get along, and yeah. they all have the same affliction. Affliction, and it's like there's like subsets of each. There's like a ton of subsets of those 300 people. Yeah. It's like, but yet we expect someone from halfway around the world to just agree with us on our the way we do things. Like, no, they do things the way they do things. We do yeah. things like. There's no better example than that of the fact that we have primate tribalism wired in us yes like if there's ever an example it's the one that you just laid out yeah and to the point that the pandemic wasn't something that was truly it is a global pandemic but it's over time there hasn't been something yet that has triggered everybody at the exact same second for the entire planet to say oh shit we're in the same boat that's what well well, yeah but yeah but the key there too is something that you can do something about if you join forces, that's what you need. You need something that if we all come together, we can defeat. Right, like, like, or even if you can't defeat it, but we have to to live through it. But if it's like a virus that just starts no, killing living off through people, it, you'll just hunker down at your house. That's you what come, I mean. If well, it's a virus, you actually become more isolated because yeah, you're yeah, like, oh, right. they're yeah. a problem. We need. But if something comes from the sky and starts radiating cities, you're like, we have got to get together, people. Yeah. Like this yeah. is a problem. I mean, I seriously. If I get together, we mean America. Figure that shit out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Independence Day? <laughs> no, but I, I, I honestly think that how many ever bazillion years it is from now, the record of the human race, wherever it is out there in space, is going to be from uh, an artificial intelligence. It's not going to be us. We're not going to make it. Yeah, no. It'll be a record, and they they meet some other alien entity, and this is. There's some computers that says, well, these people used to exist. Don't worry about it. You can't do anything about it. Yeah. Try to I can live go your vote. Best, try to live your best life. <laughs> I yeah. can go vote. And That'll back to it. it. Yeah. Stu is correct. Wear that sticker proud, buddy. I didn't realize how important it was. In the grand scheme of things, That's right. he now, can vote. Now we fix it, everything. Yeah. Solving first world problems. <laughs> That's what Definitely. we do here. Yeah. We did it again. We almost fixed the Suez Canal thing, but no one called us. Right. We yep. had plans. For yeah. sure. We got shovels. Did you see some of the memes? <laughs> that video, that the, the picture it? though of the of the damn bulldozer. That's like yeah, <laughs> trying to push up it. a thimble <laughs> full of dirt, and the they can't even reach the damn dirt that's down there. It was cracking me up. See the meme yeah. where like someone was like, "Did anybody try this?" and had two cans of WD forty on each side of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, did what? What did ultimately get it out? Just more tugboat power. Yeah, the, I think the biggest tugboats in the world were on their way there, and I think uh, that's what did so it. So eventually, it was just. Pull one way on the other end and pull the other way. So it it all just was exactly what we thought it would have to be. Yes. Which was just dig and pull, dig and pull. Yep. So brute force. Right. Yeah. Tends to work. We did it. It works for USA. That's how we. 
So how long was that know. thing locked up? Six days. Yeah. Six days. I mean, that doesn't seem like that's that catastrophic. Like, we did a pretty good job. They did say that some of the people in Europe or Asia will fill it on the quote-unquote Amazon deliveries. First well, world problems. Yeah, yeah, first world problems. Like, oh, I don't get my shit in the, Navy, the Navy Seabees would have had that shit dug the fuck out, <laughs> yeah. back yeah. in route in the goddamn two hours. You think so? Well, maybe not that quick, but yeah. quicker. Yeah. For sure. And if not, they'd have just blown it up. The fucking Chinese <laughs> would have had that shit out in two hours. That's a fact. I mean, honestly, they build cities in months. Yeah. I mean, it's like, They build skyscrapers in a day. Yeah. I mean, it's insane, some of the stuff they do. It's, right. It's true. I don't know that we got all the right people there to fix the problem no <laughs> but durka durka i feel like six <laughs> fix six six days is actually pretty good sure yeah i don't know but i'll take your word for it it seemed like a big it seemed pretty bad and now and and what's my problem i'm like oh, my amazon order's late right yeah <laughs> like that's exactly. the, that's the the trickle down inconvenience what gas prices are up 10 cents and i'll be damn if i didn't get the inner tube that I'd ordered mm-hmm. that was supposed it to be four Tuesday. days instead of two. Yeah, this what is the hell? ridiculous. I wish stock's taking a hit. Wish. <laughs> 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 God, they sell some crap. Dude, the wish Never ads deliver. I get are <laughs> legit oh, crazy. Yeah. Oh. The I, funny ones are like, you don't even know what half of them are. You're just like, what yeah. even is this? I can't even right. tell. I don't get these ads yet. No? Thank goodness. Yeah. Because you guys talk like they're crazy bad. Oh, they're hilarious. Yeah. I did see that Shinesty's got a lot of new stuff out. They're the ones who s- sold yeah. the dong sarong. They've got new versions of the dong sarong where, like, yeah. the, the pockets themselves have, like, American flag lining and stuff, but yeah. it's still denim. It's it's amazing. They're, Shinesty just keeps coming out. It's with, almost dong sarong season. I can't wait. Well, not – not. I, I'm going to need to cut, cut a little weight to get back into that tight <laughs> little thing. That has been – I, I, I looked stupid before. I'll look full on ridiculous now. But we do need we, we do need to get a donks wrong sighting. No, we don't. It's almost too big weather. Yeah. <laughs> Getting there. You guys need to rock your donks wrongs. Yeah, maybe not. You guys have never worn them in public, have you? No. No. Do you still have them? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Good. Mine fits yeah. my wife. I understand that. Hmm. Like that's how small it is. Oh yeah, mine would probably fit my wife, but I still squeeze in it. <laughs> Make that shit yeah. happen. <laughs> why didn't? Why couldn't that be the nectar code? Dong sarong. Maybe because no maybe next spell it. Oh. and no one would get a discount. That's right. Do you yeah. hear what the new the new nectar code is? Yeah, Bowflex. Yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> Word uh, travels fast, man. Everybody's using it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> you know the most messed up thing though is today. Someone in my neighborhood put the um, the Bowflex like select dumbbells where you can like pick the different things. Those things weights. are dope. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, I think I want to get those. And then I was like, oh, I can't have like more Bowflex stuff. Is it the yes, 90s or the 55s? The 52s. Yeah. And I just feel like if it was the 90s, there's no doubt I would have done it. They're expensive as fuck, dude. They are. Yeah. Weight is expensive. It's yeah. crazy what it, uh, what weight costs. Mm. Supply and demand and COVID caused it. Yeah, it COVID did, really sure. bumped it up. Yeah. Do you, well, would you buy the 52s, though? No. I would only buy the 90s. Because I only have a 35-pound set of dumbbells. Like, the fact that I could go up to 50 is good for, like, curls and shoulders. No, it's a waste of money. Why, why not? I would find the 90s. Wait till the big dogs? Yeah. They're, like, $700 or something crazy. Yeah. Mm. They're sweet as shit, though. They are because it's all yeah. your weights right there in one they spot. They don't take up a rack of room. Right, yeah, exactly. It's Bowflex technology, man. They they've been the they've been the best. Yeah, their best technologies with real weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're saying these dumbbells don't have power rod technology? Right. No. <laughs> sounds, not, sounds lame. Yeah. They're not affected by the cold. Okay, there is power <laughs> rod technology in their DNA. Oh of course. God. That's uh, the truth. It is all about space saving. The rubber band lifter over here. <laughs> <laughs> that was the weeder system, and that's for losers. Yeah. I can't defend, but I, I honestly, I was like getting ready to click, and then I was like, I don't need more Bowflex stuff in my house. Yeah. I'm already catching I need to bring it up, up on air, see what kind of flack I get yeah. first, then I'll decide. Yeah, I don't understand my logic there. <laughs> it just hit my no, head. No, it's sound logic. <laughs> it hit my head. It, you yeah. should definitely get them if you don't have anything up to 52 pounds. I mean, that'd be... You I could, don't. If I could get them, yeah. it's got the rack. It's got the whole setup. Like, what are you doing with 52 pounds? 
fifty kick, pounds, me anything. Kicking I mean, it. I mean, there's <laughs> there's no muscle in my body that can't do fifty two pounds to Ely's point, so I do need more. That's, that's a what I'm lot saying. Of, that's like, a lot of curling weight. Yeah, but like you do. Yeah. You do a chest. Oh. It wouldn't be enough for chest. No, no. But I have shoulders. a bow flex for chest. I have four hundred pounds of power rod resistance for the chest. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> so this would just be for curls. And oh, is like, that all your, the reason you're getting them? Well, Seriously, it'd be curls and then Shoulder. shoulders and then like even just basic Arm like, like, like pull, yeah stuff like that. Pull. You know, yeah, oh, be good for weight, rowing. Dude. You're gonna hate the fact that you only have fifty pounds in a month. I wish our listeners yeah. could see everybody moving and flexing and stretching their arms. It really is. It's, <laughs> it's bad. But like everybody yeah. over here is doing their favorite exercise, herking and jerking in a different direction. It's it's a real slobber knocker over yeah. here. Yeah, it uh-huh. is. Yeah, so go to Nectar and put in both legs to get 20% off. Nectar Unfortunately, that is the code. I've been hit up. I know a lot of people Power have already used it. would have been cool. We'll go there next time. Yeah. You save it. You save it when we need it. <laughs> right now, it's just both legs. It's a heartbreaker, but I get it. Inside jokes are funny. Yeah, I've had a week to sit on it, so I'm like, all right, it's funny, bastards. We gotta keep the the uh, Volters way. That's right, and this this does it so for there now. You, go. Mm. you say so. We're so popular, I know it'll blow up at some point. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I believe it. So if you guys haven't had a chance to send money on in, Troy, where would they do that? At Inside the Pallet House on Venmo. What are they sending money in for? The it, fucking is, awesome content. Oh, Delis. Like, this is a cool episode. Here's two bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Then, Brendan's workout regiment. Oh, I, so I, won't, I won't use it <laughs> for Bowflex. that. Sorry, walk people. Walk outside, stare at the Bowflex, <laughs> yeah. say tomorrow, and yeah. walk back in. Say, <laughs> say tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> that really is kind of the mantra. Yeah. I go out there and repeat it over and over. Yeah, it Tomorrow's works. Tomorrow's the day. I'll get there. You watch any David Goggins videos? That dude will get you out there. Really? Oh, my God, yes. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll do it. I'll be shredded by, by next one. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually thinking about taking a before picture and then I just, just using the Bowflex and really seeing if I could. Oh. Like, and then mail it into the one Bowflex employee left. <laughs> yeah. And be like, here's my results. And Mike, like, here it is. Cool. You get a new power rod set. <laughs> Bowflex at the last blockbuster.com. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't a chance to rate and review, please do so. Or head on over to the Facebook page, or you can always find us on Instagram and Twitter, at ITPH Podcast. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be talking to you next week. Cheers. Cheers. Peace out. That was a pretty good podcast, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs>